Hi, I'm Maria, reporting for Film Club. I'm here at the Curzon Cinema in Chelsea for the premiere of Burke and Hare. Oh, well, it's an honour to actually meet you. Oh, Can I you please have much. a handshake? Yes, of course you may. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, well, you're one of the first actors to sign up for this film, so was, why in particular was it? Mainly because of John Landis. Uh, I've been a big fan of his work since the American Wealth in London. It was one of the first sort of VHS videos I watched as a teenager when I first got into horror and stuff. It was a big influence on Shaun of the Dead. And um, to get to work with the guy that created that movie was just, you know, I couldn't say no, really. And I, I, I'd only read the script once, but I signed up purely because of John. I didn't know anyone else was going to... I didn't know what an amazing cast we were going to have even at that point. Um, but it was genuinely the chance to work with John Landis, you know. Um, what attracted you to this retelling of Birkenhead? Um, I just think my family are both Scottish, and um, uh, my mother and father rather are both Scottish, and uh, and I love Simon Pegg, and I'd seen all of John Landis's films from Animal House to Coming to America to Blues Brothers, blah blah blah, and so uh, it just felt like the right thing for me to do next. And plus, it got to uh, bring me home to England, and you know that's always nice to see the grandparents. Oh, oh sorry. How do you think it compares to other Ealing black comedies such as The Lady Killers and Kind Hearts and Coroner? Oh, I think it's hard to compare them because it's, um, it's such a different story, but I'd like to think it follows in that tradition. That would be a huge uh, compliment. It's amazing to see you back on the movie scene after 12 years. Oh, thank you. Um, what in particular about the script and this film inspired you to do so? Have you read it or seen it? Um, not yet, oh. but I'm really excited. Then if you give me five pounds, I'll tell you. No, it's... Um, do you know the story of Burke and Hare? Well, the idea of treating them as... Uh, taking that story and making a romantic comedy out of it was so subversive that the screenplay really appealed to me. And if I could get the right cast, <coughs> I, was, I thought I could really honor Ealing and make a classic Ealing comedy. So that's what we've tried. How do you think it compares to the um, other Ealing black comedies, such as The Lady Killers? I, would, I, I hope it stands up to that. I mean, I'm competing against people like Alec Guinness and Peter Sellers, so, you know. But I, uh, I think it's very much in the tradition of those pictures. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm really well, thanks. Um, were you anxious at all at playing a serial killer, and how did you prepare? Um, I wasn't anxious about playing a serial killer. I'm not anxious about playing anything. You know, I'll play a 25 foot gorilla or a, or a, a three and a half foot hobbit, or as long as it's an intelligent script, which this was. And despite the fact that it's a comedy, because uh, it's a satirical comedy, um, and we were very clear about what we wanted to say with these guys. I mean, you know. It's not a new thing. Shakespeare wrote very dangerous characters like Iago in Othello and gave him the most fantastic speeches and makes the audience absolutely love him until they realise what he's doing. So it's not, it's not a new phenomenon, playing dark characters and making audiences love them. And that's, that's precisely what they, we do in this.